this isn't real when we have those kinds of movements and people actually start living by them we are going to become even more divided hey guys i'm back so you guys seem to really like the loneliness video it's the most recent video and it reached further audiences actually because i got you know brand new viewers okay speaking of viewers there's something interesting and kind of funny that i found out that the previous video got a 100% male audience around that age group and I think that really goes to show that this issue is way more prevalent among men and even the general overall demographics of my channel are mainly male leaning yeah we're not gonna say right or left leaning we're gonna say male leaning where them girls at you know let's get more girls on this channel but also let's get more of the younger crowd here because I think that you know we can have some sort of a positive effect on them and I do hope to grow a younger audience as well I see that I'm getting new viewers, got people to really feel like somebody heard them and understood them, which I love so much and that's the goal of my channel, to give a platform to people who feel like their voices are drowned out and, you know, feel like the way I feel. So I really appreciated that and for a non-reaction video, it did well. So I thank you guys so much and I want to do another one. There's a lot I could say because when it comes to things like life and realizing things and wanting us to stop the bad, let's just say, it just seems like it's so hard and a lot of people are very complacent. I wish people could take a stand and that's what it starts with yourself and I always try to do as much as I can without literally uh, hurting myself. Yeah, I also have to stop watching the news like regularly. I can't. I just, I can't. I can't anymore. And it's made a world of a difference. The reason I'm saying that is because I could talk a lot about these things, but it's just, it feels like my hands are tied. I can do my part, but others have to as well. It's like a domino effect. Everyone's waiting for it to, like, for the trigger, for someone to start doing something. But I do believe we can do it. If we just really band together and try to find each other before it's too late and before they, like, shut everything down. With that being said, I'm just gonna talk about something that's a little bit easier to talk about that maybe can get more to people's minds, especially the younger crowd. I feel like we're all subjected to this like programming or th these things that were taught when we were younger about different groups of people. I'm not even talking about race-based things or orientation-based things or gender-based things in the way you guys might think, in like the general way. I'm talking more deeply when it comes to social media trends and not getting sucked into these rabbit holes and really thinking about what you're reading and watching because as we can see in society the pendulum does swing it's like goes back and forth and sometimes it's like on one side and then it just like swings to the other and we are seeing time and time again and this one's a perfect example the tate era and when i say the tate era i mean what happened during the rise of tate and how extreme the pendulum went this way now i will admit when i reacted to him i said some of his ideas make sense okay i didn't completely bash him or completely favor everything he said right like it, it i was like okay these points are fair i understand however there are some people that take everything somebody says or takes a lot of what they say and takes it so literally and applies it to their real life when a lot of these things are kind of chronically online things because when you go in the real world and when you go you don't see people with extreme views like they do online we all knew that but what i'm saying is sometimes these these things that we get influenced with online might start to affect us in the real life and what i mean by that is if you're trying to find a partner like you want to be in a relationship with someone and you start using these philosophies of these very extreme social media movements or trends i'm not just talking about the tate stuff i'm talking in general but that's one of them uh, like the red pill stuff because i actually did make a video and i didn't post about it how like the red pill they contradict themselves they go against the bible when we have those kinds of movements and people actually start living by them we are going to become even more divided like don't y'all see a lot of these movements and a lot of these social movements i guess you could call them even if they're only online are actually starting to come up in the real world and they're actually starting to divide people even more as usual always divide 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 i feel like these movements started making everybody notice everything again and start to become hyper aware like oh i have to prove that i don't discriminate i have to prove that i accept everybody and oh this person probably sees me like this because of the way i look and kind of like the reverse starting to happen and people starting to get paranoid that they were going to offend people at any second and they're going to walk on eggshells as we have impressionable minds that sometimes tend to believe a lot of things that we read we start to wonder if everything is based on how we look on the outside and that brings me to my next point when it comes to relationships and these whole, um, this whole thing about scaring people into thinking that they have to look physically a certain way to get attention. To get, uh, not even attention, but to find somebody. To be liked, to be accepted, to be respected. No, y'all, you will get the wrong people around you. And let me tell you, you can tell when somebody somebody makes their their whole identity what they look like on the outside. So what they look like physically. Like, I'm talking like physically, like, um... 
I'm not talking about like skin color. I'm not anything like that, like traits like that. I'm talking more about what they do, like with their body, how they look, how they portray themselves, like kind of like their attitude. And you can sometimes tell when people have a bit of a ego and when people are actually insecure inside. And you might think it doesn't come out, but it does. You can kind of tell when people are trying to use what they look like to kind of overcompensate for something, maybe in their personality. Or perhaps it's insecurity, which is really sad because it's really what's on the inside that matters. People might think that, oh, that is the ideal person that everybody wants to be with because they look like this, this, and this, and this. But that is not true because you don't know those people. They could be shallow on the inside. They they might not be shallow. Do not be so hooked on these trends about you need to look a certain way to get likes because, you know, to get liked because, you know, that starts off with, I have to look a certain way to be liked. Then puts on the look no one likes me so then it gets extreme 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 and then you go down these rabbit holes of okay i hate all women now let's say you're a guy that i don't know has trouble finding a girl to talk to right and you think it's because of how you physically look okay so then you 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 work out and you look a certain way okay and then still nobody talks to you and then you blame it on them when in reality maybe it's something inside you right maybe it's something internally that's the thing people put too much importance on status on money on physical looks when they they try to clean the outside you have to have a clean pure heart on the inside because i promise you your your personality and your heart and your mindset will shine and values will shine way more than what you could ever look like on the outside and actually sometimes it is the people who put so much importance on their looks girl or boy that actually get more avoided because there's a statistic people who have these like extraordinary looks actually sometimes have the least friends or get talked to less because people assume they're gonna be um full of themselves right they're going to be mean they already have a lot of friends like that's another thing too so sometimes we think what we think that everybody wants is is really the opposite and it's kind of they're kind of whoever's promoting that wants us to let's say pay money for their um program they want us to pay money to get surgery they want to make us insecure so then we try to change ourselves and then these businesses companies they make a lot of money just like i mentioned in that beauty filter video the france bill it's like when you can nip When they try to come at your insecurities and you change yourself, that's how money is made. That is how people get more divided because then they blame everybody else for their shortcomings when it could be something on the inside. It could be their attitude. It could be their trust issues. It could be their heart. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't matter how you look like on the outside. If you have, like, an ugly heart or, like, um like, a bad, toxic personality, you're going nowhere. That brings me to, like, what I'm trying to say in this video, my whole message in the video. It's these movements that nit nitpick these movements that pull out your strings pull out your insecurities to make you try to, to try to change yourself and then if that doesn't work you blame the people you blame the other people for what's happening to you when in reality it could just be it could be it could be that it has nothing to do with what they're telling you but it's all on your in, it's all on the inside it's all in your heart or they tell you act a certain way right people know that you're trying to impress or whatever that it's fake that it's it's um superficial that you don't really mean it so what i'm trying to say is be yourself at all times be yourself always try to improve okay always try to improve yourself from all aspects always but do not do it because you are getting sucked into these circles that 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 put in all these extreme idea, extreme and sometimes unattainable ideas in your head and tell you that that's what you need to be successful and that's what you need to find friends that's what you need to to be in a relationship that's what you need to be liked to get attention like no be yourself that being yourself brings you so much satisfaction and fulfillment this channel as you can see everything is pretty laid back and i'm myself even if i embarrass myself even if like something's out of place i'm not trying to put out an image i'm just being myself like i'm talking to a friend that's what that's what my channel is authenticity and, and when i looked at the comments i see how much you guys love this i see how much you guys crave authenticity and i want to give that to you because do you guys understand how much i also love authenticity and i absolutely hate when people put on a show i can tell i can see it i can sense it from a mile away this is not gonna work with me i'm very bold on youtube it's not even me having like some sort of an attitude or being like aggressive i just am very bold although i am italian and we're loud and people think we're yelling and we're just very um enthusiastic it's true like i'm just very passionate about what i do and i really like talking to you guys even if it's just even if it just doesn't make sense or even if it's just kind of very all over the place it doesn't matter you i don't know you personally you guys are like my friends i really do enjoy others bold personalities as well because i feel like i have a lot to say i have a lot to think there's a lot to think about i have a lot to say and i just love when others do the same and they care a lot about what's on the inside right on the inside the heart and in the mind and the soul it's so easy to do yourself up physically and, and look a certain way physically but on the inside it's not as it's not as easy to change your heart as it is to like change your shirt or take off your shirt you can't really take 
away your heart and your drive and your passions you know so yeah guys please do not give up if you feel alone or you feel like you have a hard time achieving your goals don't think it's necessarily something with you it could just be like circumstantial it could be um you know the cards you were dealt i guess is what the saying is um and please do not blame big general groups of people for things that happen to you personally because more often than not it's not really it's not their them to blame right I'm not saying it's your fault but it's not general groups of people um so yeah when these trends and when these social media things trying to get you sucked in just critically think about it too and think okay maybe this is really to divide and not everybody's like that <sighs> As always, thank you guys so much. Emails in the description and the about section. And I thank you guys so much for watching. Ciao.